It's time for a quick post bag. Um, I actually already started to record this and then I messed something up. Um, mainly I forgot to turn my uh, microphone on. Uh, so the bag's already cut open, but I got this parcel today and I'm very excited for what's in it. Um, I actually knew what was in it before I opened it the first time, but anyway. So what's inside is this thing, which is a very high precision voltage reference module. Now, um, I bought this because I wanted to calibrate my multimeters, but it turns out that uh, none of my multimeters... Well, one of my multimeters might have an adjustment screw for calibration, and the other one uh, has no visible way of uh, calibrating it. So what I'll basically just have to do is um, keep notes on what the voltage error is. I might be able to calibrate my circuit test one, but I need to get my hands on some uh, a technical manual for it to see if I can uh, you know, get any data on, on how to properly calibrate it. Anyway, so what you do is you put a 15 volt signal onto uh, the battery terminals here. There's actually You can actually get a special 15 volt battery for these things. Um, but it is sufficient to just put a 15 volt signal across it. So then we'll turn it on and we get a little red light there. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. You can see the red light. Um, and we currently have it set to 10 volts. So DC volts. Um, let's see what this thing has to say. Or maybe my leads are all tangled up. There we go. So I'll go ahead and we'll Put the positive lead there and the negative lead there. 9.99 volts. So that seems to be fairly accurate. Um, let's turn it off and switch over to 7.5 volts. Alright, let's see what the 7.5 volt range says. It's minus 7.48. So this uh, <clears throat> multimeter is seeming to still be fairly accurate. We'll turn it off and switch it over to the 5 volt reference. Gotta move these. It's got, I'll probably glue them together. Oops, glue them together later, but it's got uh, two of these little jumper things. I don't know if you need both of them, but uh, I haven't found really great documentation on the thing. So let's turn that back on. Let's see what the 5 volt range has to say. 4.997. So we've only got a drift of three thousandths of a volt on this thing. These things are accurate to within something like seven digits. So uh, I know that this is super accurate. And let's see what the two and a half volt range says. Do, 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 do. Turn that back on. And take a reading of two and a half volts. We got 2.496, so we're four, ten, four thousandths of a uh, volt off on that. So, yeah, that's not too bad at all. Um, if we wanted to go really, uh, really accurate, I think that's the right setting. It should be microvolts. No, that's not microvolts. Um, I guess I can't actually uh, set it to microvolts on this one. But uh, 2.496, that's not too bad. Now let's switch over to the circuit test meter and have a look at how accurate it is. So we'll uh, go ahead and use the same leads and we're going to go over to DC volts and this one actually does read millivolts so uh, we could lock it into millivolts for the 2.5 volt reading here. So what do we have? 2.503, so it's three thousandths of a volt high. That's not bad at all. Apparently I don't actually need to calibrate these. 
Now the reason why you calibrate over multiple ranges um, is because, especially with an auto-ranging multimeter, it, it changes the uh, components that it's using to read the voltages. So you kind of average it across, you, you um, calibrate it on the high end, you calibrate it on the low end, and then you work your way in, uh, in from there. So you do the 10 volt and calibrate it, you do the 2.5 volt and calibrate it, then you do the 7.5 and, and then the 5, and then by then you've got your adjustments in quite accurately. Um, anyway, so let's test 5 volts. Oh, that helps if you turn it on, Chris. 5 volts. 5.01. So we're 1 one hundredth of a volt off. That's not too bad. Um, if we change this to millivolts, uh, it's not going to actually cooperate, is it? Okay. So let's turn this back off and switch over to seven and a half volts. I'm actually surprised at how accurate these meters really are. I mean, given they only have a couple of digits, I'd love to have a six digit multimeter, but no way I can afford one right now. I miss my Fluke 177, or 117, one... I had a really nice Fluke at one point, but it got stolen. Uh, so 7.51 volts, it's only a hundredth of a volt high. Again, that's uh, pretty darn good. 10 millivolts high. Or 100 millivolts high, rather. All right, and last but not least, the 10 volt setting, and we're reading 10.02, so two hundredths of a volt high. There's actually no point in calibrating these because they are actually both very, very well calibrated. I'm quite pleased with that result. Um, that's pretty much all this is useful for, is as voltage reference. In an extremely high precision voltage reference, but it's nice to see that my multimeters are actually quite accurate. So you can get these on eBay. Um, you, the, if you want to search one up, it's called a. Uh, let me see a second here. Um, what are you called? You are called an AD584 four-channel high precision voltage reference module. If you just search uh, AD584, um, that'll, uh, that'll get you what you need. That's this little chip here uh, in that can. I think that's RF shielding. It's a very high precision chip. If you look at the bottom here, it's got a bunch of, bunch of pins on it. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's got eight pins coming off the bottom there. Um, but so the AD584 is that high, high precision reference there. Um, and these are just filter capacitors to uh, keep the uh, voltage coming off of the power supply from dipping around too much, and then a couple of uh, polarity protection diodes to keep you from cooking the chip, because they're ostensibly probably very expensive, but uh, this wasn't very expensive at all. It was like four bucks. I've seen them as high as 17. Um, you can get them where they're in a nice case, uh, and they cost, you know, a, a fair bit more. And then the weird batteries are super expensive. But you just need to put a 15-volt signal across them and they're fine. So anyway, that's just that quick post bag and, I guess, a quick test and review of my multimeters. Um, if you haven't already, consider clicking here to subscribe. Right over here is a video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy, select from my library. Uh, right here is, I guess we'll do that, a post bag and... Yeah, that'll be the postbag playlist. And right here is a link to Patreon that you can use to help support the financial needs of the channel. So thanks so much for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.